Hey guys, it's Sherry from Spinning a Yarn with Sherry. How are you guys doing? <laughs> it's been a very tired weekend week and it's just a little update. And I am literally recording on my cell phone that I'm holding, so this is going to be fast. Oh, so this is what we've gotten so far for, uh, put on my head I guess. No, that won't work good. For the poncho, it has changed one, two, three, four. It is now on its fourth color. I'm getting it ready for my friend. I have two hats that I need to send out. I don't know if I'm going to send the black one because it didn't wash up real good. But that's okay. Um, uh, let's see. I've been working really hard. And I just made the most... I mean, I haven't eaten it yet. I haven't cooked it even. But, oh, oof, sorry. Got all sorts of, the doors are open, so the bugs have decided they could come inside, too. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let's see. I cleaned up my stash a little this week. I cleaned the living room real good. Oh my god, and by the time you get done cleaning, you've already exhausted all your spoons of energy. Um, I didn't go to the chiropractor today. I was gonna go, but yeah, I didn't get a chance to. I just, I'm too tired. And then my sister is on the way to her house because she's tired too. She's got four kids, you know. And uh, Mama and Papa are busy. And so uh, I'm kind of no more ride to work to town. Work town. <laughs> Feels like work. Uh, so I did a little bit of therapy in the bedroom. Where, you know, I just stood up and I adjusted my pelvic um, bone. To be more like a normal person when they walk. And I, I tried walking and I only got four steps. That wasn't a whole lot. Need some more. <laughs> I mean, think about it. How many steps do you take a day? And you, for me to step, I have to think of where I place my right foot, where I place my left foot. I need to, to yell at my legs to stand up, to, to tense up so I can stand up. Um, and then after I'm done standing up like that, I got to talk to my, well not talk, but communicate with my torso to, to lift me up higher, to straighten my back, to... <sighs> You know, my my MS, every, my MS is different for every single person. But my MS is being a pain. I'm telling you what. <laughs> it shouldn't be a pain, but it is. It's okay. It's okay. I'm alive. I'm safe. Everybody is safe. My healing handle, uh, I've, I'm at the last little tiny bit of it tonight. So if you want your name on the next healing candle, comment. Uh, say, hey, Sherry, get my name on the healing candle. Everybody needs healing. Everybody. But it's just a little bit of my energy, my little bit of prayers towards people. I did not get the spoons on my earrings so that I was leaving. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, when I leave, I have to take everything off because, you know, you don't want to go around with all your jewelry when you got somebody adjusting you. Or when you go to physical therapy, you want your necklace bouncing up and slapping in the eye or something, you know? That would be, that'd be sucky. <laughs> um, I talked to Nick Crate. They haven't talked back yet because I've been waiting. I ordered on the 20, well, it was like the 24th at 11 o'clock. So it wasn't technically the 25th. And I've been waiting since then. And it hasn't arrived yet. And then, but... In my email, it said um, that they were unable to deliver it at my address because my address there wasn't enough. But they attempted to deliver it. And I have a video camera on my door so I can see who's there before I answer it because it's a very large ordeal for me to do that. So, yeah. Uh, nobody tried to deliver it. There is somebody here 24-7. And usually, it's not just me. Usually there's two people in this house, 24-7. So, 
So if somebody attempted to deliver the package, we would have heard it. We would have been here. You know, I mean, the doorbell doesn't make as much noise as a normal doorbell, but it does pop up on my cell phone that somebody's at the front door. And it, it that's an impossibility. They, they didn't try. That's all I can say. They didn't try. So, uh, I'm waiting to hear back from them. I'm kind of, like, kind of, I don't know, I'm not depressed, but kind of scared, you know? I got Nick Crate from March, and now it's April, and they just sent out to the same address, and I'm going, it's my same address that I have used for every single package I've ever gotten. I have had the same address for 10 years. So it's like, hello, and there is always somebody here. I mean, I'm kind of disabled. I can't really necessarily leave, and when I do leave... There is somebody here. So. I need my Nick Crates. <laughs> uh, I did hope to present you guys with my Nick Crate. But it's not here. So, Well I've been rambling for about six minutes. <sighs> Love and light to everybody. Blessings. Uh, like subscribe if you want to become a member we are at 44 members once we hit 50 i'll do a random drawing on the people who respond to the uh i guess podcast i guess of me doing the drawing that day so and of course i'll let the drawing go for till the end of the month when it happens so it'll go for a good long time I have gotten, I don't know where it is, but I'll figure it out, some labradorite to kind of get rid of the negative energies and everybody's been going on, so oh, there it is. And here's my first little piece of labradorite. I mean, I've had many pieces. I've been a spiritualist for a long time, but here's one I got now, and it's got a little blue flash. Now, when it doesn't have a flash, you know, wait, come on, where's a blue flash? Come on. There it is. There's a little blue flash. And when it doesn't have a flash, it just it looks like a, a green, well, I see it's green, a green and gray little rock. But it's a heart shape, so it's pretty cool. And you know green is for the heart chakra anyway. So, that's special. Oh, dogs are going off. Yeah, they're just going off because they think I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> they just don't know. <laughs> oh, Mimi. Mimi. Oh, her ears are all perked up like crazy. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Mm, I love you. I've had her for uh, 12, 13 years. She's a good dog. She was supposed to be my grandma's, but grandma wasn't feeling it. And grandma passed away, and I really love my grandma. So, yeah. It's my baby. She's always sitting here crocheting with me. And then we've got the black dog. Let me see if I can get her. Hey, Susu. Say hi. Okay. That? Oh, okay. I, I guess she wasn't going to say hi today. She's not going to be voicey, which is okay. And then we've got the little uh, golden one. He looks like... He's a Pekingese Chihuahua mix. But I call him a Pekawawa. <laughs> And he's he's cute. I've posted pictures, and y'all, I don't know if y'all have seen him or not, but he's like a little fluffy thing. He, I think he got in some ants or something. He just tore up his hind quarter, and I feel so bad. And it has been, I bathed him. I've done everything I can. I probably, maybe I should put calamine lotion on it. That's an idea. All right, well, y'all tell me what you think, and I'll see y'all later. And 
almost 50 subscribers. Yay. <laughs> Bye.